We're here with Pastor Kevin Ross from the Road to Damascus Church. Kevin, tell us tell us a little bit about what your church, the new direction is for 2021. It's all about mission. We got to go out to the highways and the hedges, compel the people to come in, whatever it takes. You know, I sit back and I looked at Jesus, how he went. The the Bible spoke in the book of Luke. It talked about how Jesus, uh, where a man went left the 99 in the wilderness and went after the one, but the scribes and the Pharisees came up against them. They was murmuring, complaining. You know, that's that's some of the churches out here. They want to sit back and judge, and they want to put people down for doing diff something different. But the main thing is that we're going after that one that's missing, the lost. And, you know, we don't build off of other people's congregations, but we build off the lost. You know, there's plenty of room out there for each and every one of us to grow. We just got to go out and capture the hearts of the lost. And that's what God's put in my heart this year, was to save the lost at any cost. Right. So I hear you talk a lot about, you know, a sin is a sin. And, you know, you talked about, you know, homosexuality and things that are going on and, and how they can be delivered from that. That, you know, a lot of pastors, it's a touchy situation. They're afraid to talk about these things. But I, but I feel... Uh, that God uh, wants us to reach out to those to give them that opportunity to be changed. Absolutely. You know, one of the biggest things that people do, they uh, other churches or pastors, they preach in their pulpits about sin, but they don't want to address their own sin. You know, I could sit back and preach on homosexuality, but what about the backbiters? What about the glutton? You know, we have pastors and, and lay ministers go out to restaurants and they'll not even push your plate back or they'll sit back and they'll condemn and tear down the waitress for not serving their food they want you know that's that's all sin in god's eyes whether if it's a homosexuality or being a glutton or or lying or being backbiters you know you find church members out there biting back on people you know god loves the homosexuals he loves the backbiters he loves the uh, all of them but the main thing is what he hates is sin you know, we've got to get to a place in ourselves where we hate sin. And, you know, it doesn't matter where we are in life. You know, the homosexual, he died for them too. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. But I like what John 3, 17 says. He says, I didn't come into the world to condemn the world, but the world through me might be saved. And we as Christians, we can't condemn we got to love these people. See, God's not done with their story. That's one of my logos here at the Road to Damascus. He changed my story. You know, each and every one of us has a story. And he's not done with the loss of story. He can change their hearts. He can change their walk. He can change their ways. And he can bring them up out of the mire of the clay. He can put them back on the potter's wheel. But the problem is the church has so much condemnation towards them and they want to condemn them for everything they do. They can't save them. People don't want to come into the house of God. But that's what we do here at the Road of Damascus. We love one another. We bring people in. And I want to show them what God has for them. Exactly. Yeah. And changing the story is a big, a big message because that's a lot of churches aren't changing the story. You know, a lot of churches nowadays, they're, they're stuck in their way of just uh, the old school way. And, the, and they don't get into the modern day. And see, the thing is, is about the people that are lost out here they're not used to the old school way so they don't even give it a chance so we have to think outside the box and i think that a lot of people really support what you do because you think outside the box to reach others especially with this new thing you're doing with the concerts and the style different styles of christian music because you're reaching just like a group i heard you're having god's dirt in they're kind of a biker type group and i think that's going to draw those bikers and those those kind of people that are Christians who like that genre, and that's a that's a smart thing, in my opinion. That you that you're reaching out to people and doing stuff for the homeless. I hear you do, uh, wanting to get involved in doing a lot of that. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. I want to share something real quick on this. When, when you sit back in a lot of churches, they'll invite other churches for song fest. They'll invite them for things that's going on in church. But my my goal is, you know, it's great to have fellowship with. Christians and other Christians, but understand there has to be a point where we draw the lost in. And you know, I don't target other people's congregation, I target the world. You know, we're we're not competing with other churches, we're competing with hell. 
today, praise God. And one of the things I want to do with the homeless, you know, we're going to start going to their camps. We're going to go down there, we're going to witness to them, we're going to sing to them, and we're going to draw up and give them that hope that their story can be changed. You know, he's not done with you yet. You know, as long as you have breath in your body, you have hope. And that's in Jesus Christ. Well, we hope you... Um Hope your ministry continues to grow here at the Road to Damascus Church. And we want to thank those of you that are tuning in today with uh, Pastor Kevin Ross. He's a man of God and shows love to everyone. Um, we, we don't judge anyone at this church. This is a church that welcomes everyone. And uh, God's got a blessing for you, so you need to come and join us. Don't forget our services are Sunday morning at 11 a.m. and Thursday night. 7 p.m. and we have concerts you need to check out our schedule here on the page and you can see all the upcoming events if you have a ministry and you want to get involved it doesn't matter if it's music any kind of ministry that brings souls to the lord if you want to be a part of this growing ministry in galloway ohio feel free to contact us and thank you for tuning in god bless you god bless you